Good afternoon, homeschool families and friends. I am coming to you today to um, shoot a before and after video, or attempt to at least. I am attempting, once I move these things out of the way, this is the corner of my library closet, and so these are my daycare cots. And I am going to move these things out of the way. I probably should have did that before I started the video, but I didn't think of it. So... Um, I do need to get to this corner here. Oh, boy. As you can see, this is not a closet that we get into all the time. And when it is, yeah, we end up having to move everything out of the way just to do so. So, this is what we're looking at here. This is all homeschool, daycare type stuff. And it's packed. I called myself organizing it at one point and I bought all these bins thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to stack up all the bins. And, you know, of course I didn't think that to get to the bottom bin, I'd have to remove three bins on top. So needless to say, um, that's not something I actually enjoy doing. So I end up putting things in bags and, you know, just kind of tossing things in this closet. So it really is a wreck and I'd never get to use what's in the bins because I'd rather go buy new whatever, just not to have to dig into the closet. So what I'm going to attempt to do now is to um, organize this closet. And a couple of weeks ago, I helped out another homeschool mom. And um, I went over to her house on a Saturday and we just kind of um, helped. I helped her to organize her homeschool closet that she had. And she gave me the best idea. <laughs> I had always thought about putting shelves here, but I thought about building shelves to put here. So, of course, that, you know, never happened because it meant doing, you know, work. <laughs> Not that I'm afraid of work, but, you know, that's a Saturday project. And how many of those do we already have lined up on our to-do list? Okay? Right. So, but what she did was she went and bought this industrial strength type um, uh, shelf that was easy to put together. No tools type thing. The two of us sat and put them, you know build it built it into her closet you know we put it together in her closet and was able to just stack up all of her homeschool supplies and materials in there and I thought wow I'm doing this you know I'm going to do it so today I had gone to dirt cheap and I found one similar to the one that she bought way less money because I think she paid like about 80 bucks for hers hers is definitely it's made out of um wood and metal I think the this one is made out of industrial strength plastic, so it's very hard plastic, but it was $30 with 50% off, so I paid 15 bucks for four shelves, four tiers, and I'm hoping that it fits in here because, you know, I just eyeballed it in the store and was like, yeah, I think that'll fit, so I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to make it work, and we're going to get started with this, so I'll be back to show you uh, the finished product. So hang on. Okay, so this is what came out of the closet. All this came out of the closet. So now this is, if I can get through some of this stuff, I can show you what the closet looks like all cleaned out. Well, somewhat cleaned out. I haven't gotten to the top just yet. That's going to be easier to do. So got everything out. And now I am going to attempt to put the shelving in. These are the shelves. These are two of them anyway that are put together. This is what it looks like. It's, um, it's a Sterilite shelf. And so it's very uh, nice, heavy duty, sturdy plastic. I don't know if my big bins are going to fit on it. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work because I've got some really huge containers here that definitely need to go back in that closet without a doubt and the biggest one already cannot fit I mean the width of it is going to either suck up all the space up underneath there or just not be able to fit so not exactly sure what's going to happen if I cannot get everything to fit in that closet let me turn on the light in here I can possibly, this is my other homeschool closet that's also a mess and needs to be organized. So, yeah, 
this is what this closet kind of looks like. It's very, it's kind of deep on either side, but it's narrow. So there are a lot less bins in this closet, or I may just try to put all the bins in this closet. Uh, there's some space up there at the top, and so there's stuff like stuffed all the way in the corners here and all the way in the corners over there. Um, I've never used this closet for anything other than homeschool stuff. Same with the library closet. So this has always been toys, books, just stuff, really. So now I'm going to just try to think about how to work this out. I may need to toss some things. I've already gone through this closet a couple times this year already to uh, purge. So I'm not exactly sure what more I can purge. I'm pretty sure there there's a few things I can just let go of. But um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get to work and see what... Um, what I can accomplish today. And then I still I still have yard work to do. So my deck is a mess. I need to rake the leaves off my deck outside. Yeah. It rained a couple times. We had a couple storms. So, um, you know, the tree that's right up above right there just kind of, you know, all the dead leaves fall right onto my deck. I'm going to get an awning made. But anyway... Until that time, you know, it's kind of a mess out there and needs to be organized. So I'll eventually get to that, maybe after church tomorrow if I'm not too tired. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a moment. Well, in a few moments <laughs> after I try to um, make some progress here. Okay, so first off, my eyeballs were totally wrong. <laughs> Just to let you know, it is better to measure and bring a tape measure. But anyway... <laughs> Yeah, this it's not going to happen in this closet. So um, I guess it will go in the other closet because that is a lot longer and more uh, narrow. So the closet, the shelves should fit in the, in the other closet. So I'm going to have to rethink a few things because I tried to do it sideways this way. It's not going to fit. It's too long. And I also tried to, you know, lift it and turn it. But there's just absolutely no way. It's just not, it's not going to happen. Yeah. No, not going to happen. So I will back to the drawing board and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm about to show you the second closet. This is the classroom closet and this is what I pulled out of it. Huh. Why did I start this today? You know, you ever have that feeling like you feel like, yeah, I'm going to go and get this done. And then halfway through it, you're like, oh, God, I so want it to be over with. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. But I'm going to push on. Um, just to show you how old this stuff is. This is a box of envelopes that a uh, bunch of dust, too. This is, a this is a box of envelopes that I got from a parent um, when I had my school in New York. And I apparently brought it with me because I thought it was important to keep all these envelopes for whatever reason. Uh, because I thought it was useful. And I forgot all about them because they were at the bottom of that closet. And, of course, we never get to use anything that's on the bottom. You know, definitely not. So, um, I've been buying boxes and boxes of envelopes at the Dollar Tree for years while this sat in my closet. Okay, so just to go, I mean, this is, there's hundreds of envelopes in this box, just hundreds, small, medium, large envelopes, people. She worked at a printing company that had gone out of business, I remember, and um, she had given me a lot of paper goods that year, and this, I think, what, what was, what, this is what was left over from that. So anyway, um, most of this is... My infant and toddler type stuff, I still need to keep these things on hand because my license, I'm licensed from ages 6 weeks through 12 years, so I have to keep every age group. So even though I don't care for any children right now who are under the age of 3, um, I still need to keep toys and manipulatives and things for them, so this is kind of what this stuff is. 
basically a lot of it is just that um <clears throat> so i once i climb over so here's what the closet looks like without anything in it and um i tried the shelf out and yes ta-da it fits perfectly sorry for the loud noise so now i'm trying to figure out whether i want it to go in this way or this way and i'm thinking to the right because i can access more easily um, items underneath and on top if it's to the right if it's to the left I'm gonna have a harder time getting to the things at the bottom that's further over I'm gonna end up having to take out more to get to those items so um, there's dust flying all over the place yeah it's very dusty in here right now um, so I'm gonna get started piling some things back I don't know how old this is gonna fit some of this stuff is not in bins and I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I, I'm, I'm feeling queasy just thinking about it. So let me try to figure some things out and I'll be back to show you my progress. Okay, so mini update. I was able to take everything, all of the envelopes that were in this cardboard box fit into two Sterilite containers. Okay, and I had these lying around the house and I usually keep a few empty ones, you know, just in case. So I kept whatever can fit in here and the, these pile I'm going to bring to this pile I'm going to bring to um, co-op because there is a scrapbooking class that is going to happen at our co-op this year. So I'm pretty sure they can make some use of those. So that solves that little problem. This way I won't have to try to stuff this huge box back into the closet. And um, as I was looking at the box, I see my old <laughs> Children of Christ Christian Academy. That's my old address um, in New York. That's where I used to live in New York in the name of my school, which is still the name of my school. But um, anyway, old times, 3111 Glenwood Road. Oh, I miss it. I miss being a Brooklyn girl. Uh, I'm still a Brooklyn girl at heart. But um, so I'll be back with another update. Okay, here's another update, just quickly. Last year, a friend gave me a um, box full of her um, empty baby food jars that I thought I was going to be able to use for seedlings for our plants for this year. I did try it, but because of the, because they're so small and it, it just didn't work out. But I kept this huge box of, I mean, this box is filled here. But I kept this box with the um, the empty baby food jars because I just thought, well, they're so cute. I'm sure I can use them for paint, for science, for all these other uh, projects. I haven't really decided exactly what we're going to use them for. So I am keeping them. <laughs> I know I should be get, getting rid of them, but I am going to decide to keep them. And what I've done so far, here's my progress. What I've done so far is once I've cleaned out the top up there, I am going to put things like that, <laughs> that box, uh, the box full of baby food jars is going to go at the top. That's not something I'm going to have need access to uh, frequently. So those types of items I'm going to try to stuff in the back, in that little corner at the back over there. So um, and this way it'll make room for a lot more um, or a lot more access to some of the things that we can use. Like I said, most of these items are my preschool, you know, kin some kindergarten items, but mostly infant, toddler, preschooler type um, games and toys and different things like that. That big bag of toys, this big yellow bag of toys here. I just stuffed that here in the corner at the bottom are my wooden um, letters. I have these large wooden letters that my mom had bought for me at the flea market years ago when she visited Alabama. <laughs> and um, But I have two sets of them. So one set is in that box. And I know, yes, I should donate a set. And I probably will because I, I really don't need two sets of wooden alphabet. I love these for tracing, for teaching the preschool and um, kindergartners, their letters. And I even have the numbers, the wooden numbers. 
These are great for painting, for um, tracing, that type of thing. So I usually keep these out. I had these out last week for my preschooler. So the other box is down at the bottom there. So because I'm not going to need to have access to that, I just stuffed that at the bottom. These things, this bin doesn't have a top to it, so I just kind of stuck some things in here. It'll be easier to retrieve once I remove this and then just kind of slide the box out and then it's easier to come out. So we can have easy access to those items. And then I've got some of the um, wooden puzzle items here that we don't really need right now. So I'm still trying to figure out how to put the rest of the items in the closet. These are some of the things that are left. Most of it is junk now or just bags. I don't need this big. I love yarn and doing yarn with craft. Last year, um, one of my grade schoolers wanted to learn how to crochet. So that's exactly what we did. I taught her how to do this. So this is kind of left over from that project when uh, Jessica was learning how to crochet. She still enjoys doing it, but I'm thinking we don't need, here's the needle, we don't need all of this yarn. So I'm thinking about just getting rid of some of this. Um, besides, I can't find the top, which would be perfect to store if I find the top. Maybe I'll be able to fashion a top out of something. But I found this at the back of that closet, too. This was a toy that I had when I was a kid. It's a Fisher-Price movie theater, movie viewer theater. And actually, it used to come with a bunch of these little... Um, these were the movies that it came with. Um, I got this when I was about five years old. So about 1978 or so. 77? Christmas is 77? And um, this was one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. Why I still have it, I have no idea. But it has moved with me several times, and I always seem to have it at every place that I've moved to. And I don't move often. We've lived here for six years now when we moved from New York. And um, in New York, I remember taking it to my dorm with me. Why? I don't know. But I did. And um, when I got my first apartment in New York, it came with me there, too. So, let's see if I can remember how to put this thing in here. Okay, there you go. So, it just kind of slides in there. Um, it doesn't work from last I remember. I think the light bulb has blown out. This is one of those toys that... Remember the toys back then all worked with light bulbs? <laughs> so, um, I'm pretty sure if I replace the light bulb. But anyway, it's supposed to project... This little thing right here projects the image onto a wall. And then you turn this little thing... It doesn't talk, there's no volume or anything like that, but it shows like a little mini movie. How cute, right? I'm going to clean it up and um, put it away again. You know, I don't know why I'm keeping it because, you know, my son is not going to enjoy something like this. You know, look at him over there. He's playing his Kindle. I mean, they're in the digital age. Everything is digital. He'd probably be asking, why is it moving so slow? Why do I actually have to turn it? And you know, that's just no fun. So um, I may think about selling it on eBay. Who knows? But anyway, I'll be back with hopefully what is a finished closet. I didn't show you what was in this bag. This bag is filled with more preschool toys and odds and ends and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out where to put all these things. Okay, I'm done. Well, almost done. So I've stored everything that I need to store up there. You know, the bag of preschool, toddler toys up there. And in the corner over there, uh, the envelopes. And um, a couple of other supplies. Got over there, forgot already. But um, I wasn't able to fit that box up there, unfortunately. The box of the... Um, Baby food jars that wouldn't fit. Oh, made me sad. But anyway, I just piled it up on top of this container here. So it still should be pretty easy to get things out as needed. And as you can see, there is still a lot more storage space. I found an idea on Pinterest with um, using, what did she use? Hangers and Ziploc bags. She used the, you know, the um, 
what are those things called? The pants hangers that have the clips on either end of the hanger. Well, she pretty much used big baggies and those hangers to hang different activities on the top. So that's exactly what I intend to do with this space that's hanging at the top, which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to put the other shelf up too far. I wanted to be able to hang those activities from the top of the closet there. So I'm done with this. I still have quite a bit to clean up in here. This is all trash. This is just a pile of trash right now. And um, this is my library bag. We went to the library on Friday, um, yesterday. So this is the bag. This is my wheelie bag. When we go to um, the library, we reserve a conference room. And so we meet with other um, with another home school family, and we kind of do classes together there. At the library, we do computer, um, some so not science, uh, what did we do? Vocabulary, spelling, that sort of thing. We did some math. So I need a bag that I can wheel because, as you all know, when we go to the library, we go to the library, you know. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure you guys do the same thing. There's a, there's always a huge haul of books. So this bag, um, when I used to sell Discovery Toys, came with all of my you know things, and it. it's got the wheels on the ends over here. And so I can stick in all you know the activities and games and things that I want the kids to do while we're at the library. And also it'll fit all of my um, borrowed materials as well. So this is kind of my little wheelie thing. So. I need to figure out where to put this because we go to the library weekly. So, but I do need to be able to stash it out.